Blanc Pan Sprint Series season started in Nagaro way back in April. The pole position car of Cesar Ramos and Laurence Vanthor was hit on the formation lap, so they had to come into the pits, which summed up the story of their season. That meant the Brazilian BMW was in the lead, but not for too long, because Max Goes managed to go around the outside of the hairpin to take the lead of the race away from the Brazilian BMW of Sergio Jimenez and Caca Bueno. Stefan Ortelli was the next man to force his way through in the car he was sharing this weekend with Dino Lenardi. As a result of that contact on the formation lap, Nicky Mermanov lost his bonnet on the way down. He had to come in for repairs. But as Ortelli left the pits, it was Max Buch and Max Goetz who held on to the lead of the race. Alex Zanardi was making his way up the order after a difficult qualifying session. And then there was the attack from Vincent Abril, a really impressive drive from the Frenchman as he got past the zero BMW to Sergio Jimenez's frustration. And then the next car to go past was Sergei Afanasiev going around the outside again at the hairpin as the Brazilians continued to drop back through the order. But it was the first win of the season for Max Buk and Max Goetz. They took victory in their HTP Mercedes, putting them into an early lead in the championship. The next round was at Brands Hatch in the UK and on the run down to Turn 1 it was Harry Prochik who held the lead on the inside line in his Grasa Racing Lamborghini ahead of Max Goetz behind and then the two Brazilian BMWs. Sergei Afanasiev's race ended quite early on when he had contact and lost his front end. And Alex Zanardi had a little bit too close a view of that incident, but he managed to avoid. Aman Ibrahim spun by himself up at Druids, and then Zanardi made a pass on his teammate, David Fuminelli, going into Paddock Hill Bend. Zanardi's charge continued, he then went around the outside of the Vitek McLaren, which distracted Nicky Mayer Melnoff, who went off the circuit. Bleeker Merlin and Prochik resumed the lead of the race, but second position was lost. Brazilian BMW moving up into second place of Mateus Stump and Nelson Piquet Jr. But they would later be given a drive-through penalty, which meant the 84 HTP Mercedes was promoted into second. But it was a race win for your own Bleekemolen and Harry Prochik and the Grassa Racing team, bringing them into title contention. The first ever podium for BMW Team Brazil for Sergio Jimenez and Caca Bueno. Next round was Zanvoort. The Dunes in the Netherlands saw a dramatic start line crash, eliminating Fabio Anidi and Roman Rusinov in the Audi. Luckily, all the drivers were OK. That brought out the safety car. When the safety car came in, the battling resumed. Dominic Baumann going around the outside of the Porsche in their first appearance in the Blancpain Sprint Series. Into the pits came the race leaders, Harry Project and Jerome Bleekemolen, but the pit stop was slow, and then a spin for Bleekemolen meant the 28 Lamborghini was out of contention for the race win as the rain started to come down next to the beach. Bleekemolen started to make up places, but he was never going to get back towards the front of the order, which is where the 84 car was, but not for long. Rene Rast going around the outside of Max Buch into the chicane. Brilliant manoeuvre from the German to move the number two Audi into the lead of the race, and it wasn't long before Buch spun, allowing the 76 Schubert BMW up into second place. A shake of the head for Max Goetz as he saw his HDP Mercedes running into trouble. In the end, they dropped well down the order. The battles were going on throughout the field as Jap van Lagen tried to make a pass, coming down into the chicane, going to the outside of the Audi and managing to go all the way around to take third position away from the Silver Cup pair. But René Rast and Enzo E took overall victory in the round in Zambort. An impressive drive from Rast and they stood on the top step of the podium. But there was drama at the first corner of the next round in Slovakia. The championship challenges in the 28th Lamborghini were eliminated at Turn 1. Jerome Liebman and Harry Prochik needing no points from the main race as they saw the title leaders head off into the distance. Into the wall went Nicky Mayer Melnoff. Alex Zanardi was having fun until he picked up a rear left puncture, forcing him to come into the pits. And there was the damage after Cesar Ramos had got involved in that first corner accident. He was still running and picking off places as he tried to climb back up the field. Into the lead of the race, went Max Goetz and Max Buch after the pit stops. Caca Bueno disappointed that they couldn't quite hold on to the lead. Lawrence Vanthor was now at the wheel of the number one WRT Audi and was going for a bit of rally cross action. But then the crucial moment of the race as Max Goetz ran wide coming out of the final corner, allowing Sergio Jimenez into the lead. But it wasn't long before Jimenez was passed by Dominic Baumann in the 76 Stubert BMW, seemingly coming from nowhere to take race victory in Slovakia. A wonderful performance in only their second appearance in the Blockpan Sprint Series season. Then it was to Portimao and it was Harry Prochik who held the lead at the start of the race, coming down into the first corner. He had Max Goetz right behind him. The race winners from Slovakia were out early on, 
but here was the challenge for the lead. Gertz looking to the inside line. Project doing a good job of holding on, but not for long enough because up the inside came Max Gertz to move into the lead of the race. There was also contact behind as the two HDP Mercedes battled over fourth position, a spin for Lucas Wolf, and later a drive-through penalty. And a mistake from Roman Rusinov allowed Mark Vassen through to move up into third position in the early stages. Pit stops came and went, and then Alex Zanardi was starting to slide backwards, first losing out to Stefan Ortelli and then to Thomas Enger. He would say after the race that this race was more difficult physically than doing the Ironman. Then, on the final lap of the race, Lawrence Van Thor got past your own Bleeker Molen, but he went all four wheels off the corner proceeding, meaning that he ultimately was dropped back and it promoted the 20th Lamborghini in the second. But it was victory again for Maximilian Buch and Max Gertz on the top step of the podium and extending their championship advantage. The penultimate round of the season in Zolder saw Peter Cox take the lead of the race in the NSC Lamborghini around the outside of Turn 1, but Prochik did a great job to get up the inside into second position. We lost Dominic Bauman and we also lost Enzo Eid in the barriers in the number two WRT Audi. Alex Zanardi also picked up problems, front right damage, and he had to avoid spinning cars in front of him as the Bitec McLaren and the Fortec Mercedes came together. The drama wasn't over for Zanardi. He pitted, repaired, and then was doing battle with the Russian GT Mercedes when this happened. A big accident for Alexei Vasiliev as he was pushed into the barriers at high speed. He was okay. The car was not. They'd need a new one for the final round in Azerbaijan. Race leader Peter Cox had to retire with problems with his Lamborghini, which meant that in the lead of the race went Max Buch and Max Gertz, seemingly from nowhere. A superb inlap from Buch handed them victory in Zolder and a big points advantage going into the final round in Azerbaijan. So let's have a look back at the action here in Azerbaijan. On the way down to the first corner, everyone pretty much behaved themselves and kept, to a certain extent, their grid order. Uh, Andy Suchek managed to get up into fourth place, getting past Frederick Vavish. But apart from that, uh, everyone else was safely through. But then it all kicked off here. Joe Osborne threw it down the inside, made contact with the Mercedes, which then made contact with another Mercedes. And the end result was Dominic Bauman in the concrete, unfortunately. And uh, let's have another look at that. There was Osborne making the contact and then just out of shot to the left-hand side. They all ended up in the barriers. There was also a moment for Matej Stump, who was spun around at the uh, top of the circuit. And he had to retire uh, after that particular incident a little bit later on once the race got going again. So turn seven, not a happy hunting ground. This was a key moment in the race. Maximilian Buch losing majority of his rear wing by tapping the wall on the outside. Zanardi lost most of his front end after being pushed into the wall by Alvaro Parents down at the hairpin. The car was still actually being driven. I mean, you can see he's trying to grab clutch so because the car is still on throttle and it's pushing its way just to the end. Here's the pit stop and uh, three quarters of the rear wing on the car did make it difficult for Maximilian Gutz when he went back out, but the damage had been done, consolidated, finished in the end in that ninth place, and uh, everything worked their favour ultimately. There were some of the race leaders lapping the back markers, and that in the end cost them as your own Bleeker and Harry Prochick emerged in the lead of the race. How things change in motor racing, and look, the car looks pretty secure there as they lost the lead to Cesar Ramos, and they were still looking pretty comfortable in that second position and uh, Johnny Adam was uh, starting to make his way up the order but then Max Gertz with all that loss of downforce started to slide back through the field and uh, there he lost out to the Porsche of Martin Raginger who then went around the outside of Chris van der Drift at the left-hander up towards the right-hand turn but then it all started to to break away for the, for the Lamborghini. Yes, I mean, it's just shedding bodywork, literally. They went into the pits and all they could do is put tape on it, but by which time everything had gone. A little bit of contact towards the end of the race, the Corvette sliding by the Mercedes. Oh, and there was a big spin then, so we didn't see that, but it was the win for Cesar Ramos and Laurence Van Thor. Johnny Adam finished second, but Maximilian Gertz took victory and the Blancpain Sprint Series title. The challenge was still on for the overall Blancpain GT Series title on the run down into the first corner in the main race in Baku. And it was Cesar Ramos who managed to hold the lead. He and Laurence Van Thor still had a shot at the overall championship. Everyone was safely through the first lap this time around. But it all got very congested in the middle of the pack. A few cars cutting the chicane down at the first corner. 
But in general, everyone made it safely through. Got a little bit slow up towards the left-hander of turn seven, and there was a bit of body contact, and there was out of the race for Richard Westbrook. But this was a crucial moment. Max Buch leading the overall GT Championship when his car was slammed into the barriers by Rene Rast. It was Max Gertz at the wheel at the time. This is the onboard view from Rast, which forced the Mercedes out of the race and gave Laurence Van Thor the opportunity to win the overall Blancpain GT Series title. There were battles going on throughout the order. Rene Rast, as ever, climbing up from a lowly starting position as he forced his way past Fabio Anidi. And then the Zack Speed Mercedes tapped the Brazilian BMW into a spin. Ricardo Sperafico facing the wrong way down at the hairpin. He managed to get back going again and recover to finish towards the top 10. Whilst the battle was on between the two Mercedes as Sergei Afanasyev made his way past Benji Hetherington. Stefan Otelli was under an awful lot of pressure. After the pit stops, it was Lawrence Van Thor who held the lead of the race ahead of the Beach Dean Aston Martin of Andy Suchek in second position. A really strong performance from the Beach Dean squad in their Aston. But there was an unfortunate spin for Daniel Kielwitz. He was looking like getting a top five finish in the Callaway Corvette. The biggest fight was for third position. Stefan Otelli was holding the third place. It was Marcus Winkelhock in the number six Audi that was trying to get past. Steph Dusseldorp had to retire with engine problems as Vingelhock finally made the move stick on the exit of the hairpin at turn 10 to move up into third place. But it was race victory for Lawrence Van Thor and Cesar Ramos and the overall Blancpain GT Series title for WRT and Lawrence Van Thor. A second place finish for the Beach Dean Aston Martin crew. But you can see how delighted Lawrence Van Thor was to take the overall Blancpain GT Series title, a combination of the sprint and endurance championships. But they were also delighted because it was the top step of the podium yes. in Azerbaijan. Thank you, man. What is now becoming the seasonal finale to GT racing in Europe. And Laurence Van Thor and Cesar Ramos were victorious around the streets of Baku. Second place for Suchek and Johnny Adam. Third place for Nicky Mayer Melnoff and Marcus Vingelhock for the Phoenix Audi team as the champagne was sprayed. Absolute delight for Van Thor and Ramos. The first time they'd won a main race all year. And to go with it, they had a check for 100,000 euros. They were sprayed with confetti at the end of a truly enthralling Blancpain Sprint Series season, culminating in a fantastic final race on the streets of Baku. Basseng and Latif, the Pro-Am champions. Avril and Lizovsky, the Silver Cup champions. And Max Goetz, the Blancpain Sprint Series champion.